Hi and welcome to today's video. Hi and welcome to today's video where we are going to be looking at algebraic expressions and how to break them down. So uh, as you can see I've got two expressions here. I've got 3n equals 27 and 5n plus 3 equals 28. Before we even get started there is a, something I need you to kind of understand about algebra. Algebra is all about balance. It's all about keeping things the same on either side. So what does this mean? Well, this means that three groups of a number is going to be equal to 27. And if you take a look at the other side, you've got five groups of a number plus three is going to be equal to 28. And that's going to play into how we solve these equations in just a second. So let's take a look. So if you remember anything about fact families when you were younger, like 2 plus 3 equals 5, and therefore 3 plus 2 equals 5, and 5 minus 2 equals uh, 3, and so on and so forth, it's no different than what we're doing here, where we are kind of rearranging some of the numbers in order to isolate our variable. That's what we want to do. We want to get n by itself. So how do we do that? Well, if we've got three groups of n, what we need to do is get rid of three groups. And how do we get rid of three groups? Well, we do its opposite. We divide. So if we were to take this and divide it by three groups, then what we are able to do here is cancel out the threes. And that leaves us with a single n. But you remember how just a couple of seconds ago how I talked about how everything needs to stay in balance? Well, if I divide this by 3 and don't do anything to the other side, then it's going to be way off. So keep in mind that what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So in this case, if I divided by 3, what I want to do is divide this by 3 as well. It is on the other side of equals, so that's how I'm going to keep things in check. Divide each side in half, er, by 3s, sorry. That allows me to isolate n. So I'm just going to rewrite this. n is equal to 27 divided by 3. And now what you can see here is I have my variable on one side, and I've got a couple of numbers that I can work with on the other side as well. So if I just did the math, essentially, what I'm looking at is n is equal to 27 divided by 3. n has to be 9. And if I plugged 9 into n, 3 times 9 is 27. So I know that it works. Now this one is a little bit more confusing because we've got this extra little three guys here. We've got 5n plus 3 is equal to 28. Well, in this case, what we want to do is we want to work with whatever is furthest away from the variable. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you, if you look, the 5 and the n, they're kind of hugging each other. So they're really close together. That's going to make it a little bit more difficult for me to, to solve at this point in time. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of this. And if you remember anything about integers, in order to cancel out 3, positive 3, you have to subtract 3. So let's go ahead and, and do that. Let's subtract 3. I'm going to rewrite this. So I'm going to put down 5n plus 3 because that's what my original equation was. And then I'm going to subtract 3 from it. And like I did over here, I want to make sure that I do to the other side what I've just done. So I'm going to put down 28 because I haven't done anything with it yet, but I'm also going to subtract 3 from here. You'll notice that if I subtract 3 from here, I have to subtract 3 from the other side. And positive 3 and negative 3, what's going to happen with them? Well, it's pretty simple. They're going to cancel each other out. Now this can't cancel out because they're not the same. So I'm going to rewrite this one more time. I'm going to write 5n is now equal to 28 minus 3. So 5n is equal to 28 minus 3, and that would be 25. And now, I'm not sure if you notice, but what I've just done is change this to be more like this was. Whereas this was one now final step I have to do, I've changed a two-step algebraic expression into now a one-step algebraic expression. So let's work our way through this. This is saying that I've got five groups of a number, and when I put them all together, all together, it equals 25. Well, in order for me to cancel out five groups of, I'm going to divide by five, and I'm going to divide by 5 on the other side because what I do to one side, I have to do to the other in order to remain balanced. These 5s are going to cancel, and that's going to leave me with n all by itself. n, completely alone. 
single n, 1n. 1n is equal to 25 divided by 5. Well, that means that n has to be worth 5. And then once again, if I take and plug in 5, back all the way up here into n, so if I just take that and switch it, or switch it out to 5, 5 times 5 is 25, plus 3 is 28. I know that it works, and I've checked my answer. So this is solving one-step and two-step algebraic expressions. If you have any questions, please, by all means, re-watch the video, drop a line, comment, like, whatever it is that you guys do, and thanks for watching. We'll be back with another video at another time.